Hi everybody, in this tutorial I'm gonna discuss about model pop-up in Angular JS with Bootstrap and how to pass data to the pop-up. Now I'm gonna show you step by step. This is the single page application. In this single page, we are injecting the page in ng view. We included five layers bootstrap.css and bootstrap ppls.js. This is our script, script.js. We load the module with the ui.bootstrap, and this is our default navigated page template url, home.html, and the controller is main controller. In home.html, we have a link to pop up the model. So, in main controller, we will make instance of model. On this button click, we will show the pop-up. So we need a function here. ng click event show pop-up. We we'll write this into our controller. We we'll implement the scope to pop up function, and in this function, we will show the pop up. Here we created the model instance and the property is template URL view.html. This HTML will show on pop up. And for the model, the controller is model controller with the app. We set here as a parameter model controller and we pass the instance UI bootstrap model instance. So, what happens if we execute? We can see model. And no data yet. How can we pass? the data to the model in the model first name last name address we need to bind the data here so when model instance with the resolve property will pass that data suppose object is user Function will return data. Return suppose data is an object. First name John. Last name is me. Add this New York. We'll receive the data into our model controller user dot first We 
desire is not defined. Desire, it is not defined. We can write this data. And return this result. Got the data. User dot first name. In our view, in the model, when we directed the first name, last name, address, we will bind the data. First name. Last name. Add this. The scope, first name, last name, add this. Initialize first name from user. Last name We can see now the data binding data. So in this way we can do model pop up. In AngularJS, it would have, we can pass data to the model instance and can bind that data. Thanks for watching this tutorial.